Hello, Texans, and welcome to Arctic Cooler Talk. Mark Vandermeer and John Harris with you here in the Arctic studio. Where else would we do Arctic Cooler Talk <laughs> on a wonderful Friday, getting ready for the final regular season game of the year? Johnny, it's here. It is here. It's Week the 17. last one. It's the last one. I remember last year at this time. I don't know about you. <laughs> you were ready for it? We were all ready for Week 17. Yeah. This year, Week 17 – Means it's not over. You're going to go more on football, but we got to find out what happens on week 17 to know what we're doing, where we're going, who we're playing. Are you going to win the AFC South or not? Jacksonville noon Sunday fan appreciation day. Let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, first, get your questions in. We will answer all of them. At least I think we will. We will certainly try. Oh, oh the first question is from Alex, and it's a not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly a surprising <laughs> one. Will Kiki QT play on Sunday? Well. We can only give you what we have in the injury report, which is questionable. Questionable. Which has been questionable for how many weeks? Yeah, he has been for a while. Now, I bring this up because, look, QT's on the 53. It's not like they've IR'd him. Right. So they feel like he can come back at some point. But some point, you feel like it would be good if it was very soon because you're actually running out of season, even if you're all the way to the Super Bowl. So you need Kiki QT out there. We all agree. You lost Demarius Thomas last week for the season with the Achilles injury. You're light at wide receiver. He's questionable. If not this week, I would say, I'm not going to say it's a lock for next week, but that would be the hope. I mean, it would be good because there might not be a week after that. No doubt. So you'd like to have him at some point mm -hmm. from today through or next the week. end of the season. But, you know, you can't sit there and go, well, we just want to get him ready for the playoffs. I mean, yeah. because the, a win in this one changes everything. A win you're going to play a playoff game at home. Yeah. Wild card weekend, division around. I mean, no matter, depending on what happens. So you lose, all of a sudden you've got a chance you could be playing Indy in Indy. You Ooh. could be playing Tennessee at Tennessee. You could be playing mm. Baltimore at Baltimore if you lose. No. So there's no holding back in any way, shape, or form. This is as important a game as you're going to play. Okay. Jesse wants to know, any final update on Demarius Thomas? We just said out with the Achilles, so he's out for a while, and God bless him. He's a great guy, wonderful acquisition for this team, but unfortunately got hurt against the Philadelphia Eagles. You can no longer count on him this season. You do have, hopefully, QT gets back. Like we said, Vincent Smith's got to step up. The yep. Andre Carter's got to step up. You do have some other options there. And I think the tight ends and everybody else factor into the passing game. And you still have the best wide receiver on the planet in DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, just that. Yeah, just that. Just that. JT, how many rock and rolls can we expect on Sunday? I usually don't. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> no. I usually don't go with more than one a game, but it's got to be a specific kind of touchdown. The... Um, the criteria, it, it really varies on, uh, on why and when and how I say it. I don't say it for every touchdown, just to go over that again. I say it for certain touchdowns. We'll just leave it at that. I would say the over-under would be one. There we go. Dane, oh, no, Joe, Jose. Jose wants to know, how do we move up to the two seed? Okay, so Jose wants to know that. Johnny, how do you move up to the two seed? There are two scenarios. Two ways. Two ways. Number one, now, both of them include Texans win. Yes, Texans, you have to win. win. Have to win. So that's for both scenarios. Scenario A, Patriots lose to the Jets at home. Please. J-E-T-S, Jets. Yeah, that's one way. The other way is for both AFC West teams to lose, Kansas City Chiefs and the L.A. Chargers. If and they, they're playing? The, Kansas City plays Oakland uh, in Kansas City. Ooh. And the Chargers play in Denver. So you thought at first, well, maybe Denver – I actually might give Oakland a better shot on the road really? than with Denver at home right now. Right the now. way things are going for the Broncos. Yeah, the way things are going. Yep. I think Gruden's going to play this one like the Super Bowl. I mean, I think he's going to go all in. He's not getting fired after the game. However, in Denver, no. there's a chance. Yeah, exactly. And by so, chance, I mean, oh, boy. So, scenario A, yeah. Jets. We need the Jets. Right. 14.5-point underdogs on the road. Mm -hmm. Is that what B, it is? They're 14 and a half. Mm. Scenario B, mm, mm, Oakland's mm. got to beat Kansas City, and Oakland's a 13-and-a-half-point underdog on the what? road. What? So you're saying there is a chance. But we also need the Chargers to lose to Denver, and Denver is a seven-point underdog at home. So we need three underdogs yeah. to come up. Well, By actually, <laughs> you need one or you need two. Now, if all three of them happen and the Texans win, number one seed, baby. Yeah, that's right. Number one But seed. that's a long shot. Yeah. Look, just win on <laughs> Sunday. Is. You're going to play at home no matter what. <laughs> it it's is. just a matter of what week. Okay, Dana wants to know, do you see the tight ends getting involved more? I think yes, mm -hmm. 
Look at Aikens with that big catch last week on that first down, the, the pinball scramble by Watson. Thomas has done some good things this year. Obviously, Ryan Griffin can do some good things. I think the tight ends have to get involved. That, you're right. You said it exactly right. They have to get involved, and I think they will. I think Aikens is the one to me that could get a little bit more action just because he, even though he plays tight end and mm-hmm. he does a lot of tight end things, he can be a receiver too. I mean, he can he kind of acts the part of a receiver, maybe a little even more than Griff and what Jordan Thomas do. Right. So, I mean, I think Aikens could end up being a guy that gets featured a little bit more. I wouldn't be surprised to see 88 get involved a little bit more uh, in the offense you know, as we go forward. You know what else I'm excited about? The future with these guys. You have yeah. two rookie tight ends, you know, plus Griffin, who's the OG in that group. Mm-hmm. And you were talking about how young the O-line is, and then you look at these young receivers, and young, young, young. Watson's young. Young offense, they're going to get better over time, but we want them to get it better immediately. I think mm-hmm. it's going to be fun. All right, so Alec wants to know, when will Lamar Miller be back? He will be back Sunday. Lamar Miller is coming back on Sunday, and you need to run the football. You have not run the football since the Cleveland game, really. Andre's pointed this out on the broadcast a few times. Uh, Lamar missed the Dallas game. After he came back after that Dallas game, he had juice for fresh. days. I mean, he seemed fresh. He was ready to go. Now, after a 16-game season, it's tough to be fresh. But hopefully the the missing last week gave him an opportunity to not take 15 to 20 hits on a day against yep. a physical Philadelphia defense, and he'll be ready to go against a physical Jacksonville defense and be ready to rock and roll to the playoffs. Edwin wants to know, when will we know who we are playing in the playoffs? Well, I'm hoping that that answer is not delivered till after next weekend's games because that would mean the Texans got to buy. That would be nice. See, you wouldn't know. I see how you're working. You see how I'm working. I but in all likelihood, doing. Texans win on su- – in likelihood. Did I just say that? If the <laughs> Texans win on Sunday, you'll know on Sunday night – well, one way or another, you know on Sunday night after the Colts play the Tennessee Titans yeah. because they are playing for a playoff berth. It's a good NBC Sunday night game. It's a playoff game, really. Right. The loser goes home. The winner is in. And you just don't know how. If the Texans lose, that's for the AFC Championship. If the Texans win, that's for a wild card berth. Yeah, so you're right. I wouldn't mind finding out next week. But the we'll know who it's down to right. by Sunday evening. We'll know because at that point we'll know, hey, we won and Casey and L.A. lost. Hey, we got to buy. Right. Okay, we can, you know, we're going to wait a little bit. Oh, gosh, would that be it, it, Oh, be I, such a great Sunday night, kicking oh my, back and oh watching the Colts and the Titans, knowing you have the next week off. Oh, oh my it would be gosh. fantastic. But we'll know going into that, that Sunday night game the situation. And yep. as you said, if the favorites hold as Vegas has placed it out to be. Right. The Texans would would play the Colts, but look, the Colts taking on the Titans. The Titans are six and one at home this year. Only lost to Baltimore. Go at Titans. Home. Go Titans. So, go Titans. I'm rooting for the Titans. Sorry, Colts. All right. Rooting for the Titans. Okay, shout outs. Aaron from Colorado Springs. Isn't that where the U.S. Olympic team trains? It is. Okay, it is. very good. First Aaron, is. thanks for watching. Louie in Fresno, California. Okay, yeah, Louie, go Bulldogs. Rakita in Jamaica. How's the weather in Jamaica today? Oh, Probably pretty good, right? We got a pretty nice day going on here in Houston, so I'm not going to complain. It's like 60 degrees. Yeah, Rakita, nice. enjoy. Yeah. Mary from Clemson, South Carolina. Look, Ooh. it's a, it's it's unofficial Texans land, Clemson, South Carolina. <laughs> okay, is. I mean, you got Jamie Roots, you got DeAndre <laughs> Hopkins, you got Deshaun Watson, you have Watkins, you have Reader, you have all these guys. Oh my God! And South Carolina. Don't get me started on the rest of the state. David in Tallahassee, Florida. David, are you a Florida State guy? Are you? Maybe. Uh, don't do that. I, I don't like them. Uh, just all due respect. Kevin in Kansas City, where my buddy Mitch Holtis lives, but you're watching the right team here. Anyway, shout-outs to all of you watching Arctic Cooler Talk from all over the world, and we look forward to Sunday. Texans and Jags Sunday at noon, Fan Appreciation Day. We'll be live right here, wherever you're watching this. We'll be live at 11 with D.P. Sidhu and this guy from the field. So check that out. Listen on Sports Radio 610, the Bull 100.3 FM, and on the Texans app. Download that app, baby. That is the way to go to follow your Texans. Yes, on this thing, on whatever device you use. Have a great day, everyone, and go Texans.